Can we talk about it? This story is so crazy. So apparently last night, a man went on the hotel on 59th Street and went to the top of the hotel in his pajamas and jumped off. And not only did he jump off, he hit the glass awning on top of the hotel and his body split in half and landed right in front of the people in the hotel. <sighs> Listen. Mental health issues at an all-time high, especially amongst men. Check on your friends, check on your family, check on people you haven't heard from in a while because mental health is at an all-time low right now and suicide rates are at an all-time high. And please check on your friends and your family because this story is crazy. Why would you jump, go to the top of the roof in pajamas and jump off? Listen, suicide is never the way, all right? Suicide is a selfish act and you lose friends, family, and then people are left wondering what they could have did to prevent you from doing this. It's very selfish act to me. You you could have your own personal views on it. But this is crazy. Can we talk about it? Imagine you standing in front of a hotel on 59th Street and you just see half a body fall in front of you like a like a horror movie. It reminds me of like a cold opening to like one of them um, CSI forensic shows. Remember the body would be found in some crazy location and it'd be split apart. Like what's going on? Like this man did not wake up this morning to plan this out. Or maybe he did. But at a five-star hotel, at least he got a good night's sleep. And he stayed in a nice hotel before he ended his life. And can we talk about it? Please check on your friends. Please check on the people you haven't heard from in a while. Because this is crazy. Imagine you standing in front of a hotel smoking. And you just see a guy fall right in front of you. Ha split. So mind you, they found, they found one part of his body on one side of the street and another part of his body on the other part of the street. And this is absolutely crazy and this is traumatizing and this is horrific. I would be traumatized for life if I seen stuff like this. And I've seen crazy things in my life. I've seen crazy things. I see crazy things every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> but listen, can we talk about it? Imagine being in pajamas, you see half a body fall on your car. Imagine you land on somebody's car and it's half a body. I'd be so traumatized. Like this is a this is a horror movie start. All right? And yo, he fell, so it had like a glass awning, and he hit the awning and just split in half. Do you know how much force it takes to cut a human being in half? So the velocity of him falling hit the glass on it and he just split in half. And all the blood and stuff poured all over the people under the hotel. Can we talk about it? Imagine you are an NYPD detective like one of these cops up here. And you arrive on the comp, the scene and it's only half a body. You got to find the other legs. Your legs is around the corner and stuff like that. Bro, bro. It's never that serious. If you got mental health issues, Corpy is here for you. You need somebody to talk to, you going through some things in your life, come to the Corpy show. Watch my videos. I got you. I will put you on because this is crazy, man. If I see half a man in pajamas, and what side hits you? Imagine his organs is falling. It's not just blood. It's organs. Imagine you get hit in the head with somebody's small intestines. His intestines fall on you. And then you could have killed the people below. Again, you're going to do suicide. Get the, get the, get the razor. All right? Don't be sitting there falling on people. Imagine you would have landed on somebody. You sitting in front of the hotel. This could have been me chilling in front of the hotel, going to see one of my joints and a body just fall on me. Small intestines fall all over me. Now I'm, now I'm fighting dude in heaven. Like, why you did this to me? All right? Can we talk about it?